it's not showing the game. Oh, there it is. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello, everyone. And Mr. Leader, also here. Yes, hello. Good so, evening or good morning, whatever you are. Yeah. Wherever you are. Can everyone hear hello. Leader? Uh, let's see who's here. Who found some time on this beautiful Tuesday evening to come and watch, especially with an announcement 15 minutes before we uh, before we plant this. Uh, we have Feedy Pops, of course. Who's ready for round two? Well, I already uh, uh, replied, so uh, I'm ready for it. Elephant Puppet, Odysseus, of course, he's here. VK77. Jeroen, welcome, welcome. Mr. CJ is here and Lux, welcome everyone. So, today, yeah. part two, leader. Are you ready for it? Oh, hell no. Uh, I mean, hell yes. Uh, I want to see all the amazing and astounding and astonishing creations that you have prepared for us for this special competition. Well, and I, I think I, oh, today yeah. will be very exciting and as exciting as the last stream don't you think so i think so yeah we have some uh some uh, familiar names coming up tonight so uh, yeah. hello dr beekman thanks for joining uh, yeah which one are we gonna start with uh, mr leader i think we are going to start with uh, our yeah competition winner recently uh, Mr. Odysseus, or Mr. Odicus, if I say so, and his deer park, correct me if I'm pronouncing it wrong, Helmand. Yes, deer park Helmand. Yes. Okay, okay, Helmand. Do you okay. want me to uh, do this uh, one? It's full of uh, Dutch names, or are you gonna do it? Uh, no, I'm going to take the rest, uh, six of them, and you can take this one. Yeah, so, yeah. You might think, oh, what is he doing? Well, Fane is not here tonight, but she uh, might join later because she's yeah. one of the best, uh, yeah, how do you call that? Speakers. And she can really yeah. uh, read it very well and always get lost uh, after six words. So, uh, yeah, let's do this. Welcome to Helmond, one of the best cities in Brabant and Brainport of Western Europe. Despite the fact that Helmond always has been an industrial town, there's also room for nature. And in one of those places, they decided to build a small animal park to let the people enjoy the variety of animals. The whole park has been built around the 60s. A few years ago, they decided to upgrade the entrance to match today's standards. They keep a small entrance fee to take care of the animals, so don't expect a different variety. In exotic species from all over the world, the animals in the park are adapted to our fine Dutch climate. For the kids, there is a play big playground and if you're hungry, go get some pancakes in the restaurant in the woods. Enjoy your stay for half a day. Now, well, that, that went pretty okay. well, didn't it? That sounds really Dutch. Really? Yeah? Uh, I'm excited for this one. I'm always excited for Otikus, his builds. So. Yeah, me too. Yeah? Uh, especially because it's in Helmond and Helmond is very known for being uh, one of the weirdest places in uh, in the Netherlands. Where a lot of weird people are coming from, and uh, are not weird people. It's more like they drink a lot, and okay. uh, I don't know. So, so if I ever come to Netherlands, I shouldn't go to Helmond. You should. Would be funny. Okay. Okay. Let's see. I didn't find the chat. Ah. There you go. Uh, oh, Skinny Goose is excited. Helmut Jonger. Okay. Have fun. Can't join for the rest of the stream. Ah, oh, Hank. Hank, Hank, Hank. And they uh, are famous for custom images. Ah. Helmut is famous for custom images. Look, look who joined. Mr. GGX9 Animated. Nice. So it's not the, hello, the picture, hello. but it's the animated version. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Okay. 
Where shall I start? I can see something. At the entrance, probably. Oh, yeah, that's very nice idea, Mr. Lider. Uh, no problem. I can already see a parking lot. Let's switch I to think so. explore mode for this one. And we are at Deer Park Helmond. I'm looking forward to this one. My computer yeah, isn't. Oh, it's getting better now. 47 uh, frames. Okay, 50 plus good. custom images in his entry. Yeah, I think so. So uh, we had some uh, rules that you were not allowed to uh, use building pieces outside of the uh, uh, 35 by 35 border. And of course, Odicus uh, made a parking lot out of uh, nature pieces only. And yeah. I think even what this thing this? was... Uh, uh, it's the African planter. Okay, this so. is an African planter. It's, uh, Clever in the nature tab so he was like yeah i can use it I'm Crazy gonna... man. how did he do this what is this is this a limestone ah no, very nice i like this so you're the realism guy uh, uh leader so uh, we will have to uh i think it was his goal right to make a realistic looking uh, zoo i think so, so we yeah will check every uh, single point and uh, this looks yeah. already realistic because it's Dutch and we have some bicycles. Very nice. Okay. Oh, I okay. see a nice custom bin over here. Also a very nice uh, boundary for the zoom. A very nice fence. It's beautiful. And, and these on the ground. What over is here this? You can see uh, the bus schedule. Going from uh, Breda, Oosterhout. Etteleur. Beautiful. Is Bravo a fictional company or no, no, something that's, uh, that is? No, actual, uh, actually Dutch. Yeah. And this is what okay. you would see uh, in the Netherlands, the bus signs. So they are all perfect. Perfect. Very nice. Let's go to the entrance, Mr. Leader. Yeah, I think so. Okay. And uh, see some beautiful flyers, thingies. E Park Helmond, I see some meerkats, playground, pancakes. Yeah. Very cool. Many, many custom images for sure. New Welcome. in 2022. Reservat Leshna Ostoya. I will translate yes. it for you guys. We are very proud with our collaboration in 2022 with yeah with the deer park uh, animal park reservoir Lishna. Ostoya. Beautiful. Beautiful. Really, really. I hope Hank fan is still here. There's a little Hank fan uh, reference over here. Yeah. Very cool. Very nice. And see the animals we can show you. That's also really nice. Very nicely done. I like this, uh, his graphics designs are also getting better, right? Yeah, definitely. And Opening I like spider. how... Uh, I like how Odicus used that trick, uh, trick for, like, uh, doing less saturated uh, images or something, so they do not shine as much. Uh, I think he spoke about that in the competition chat. Could be. There's one uh, image missing over here, which is weird. Yeah, it, it can happen with 50 plus uh, yeah, because I added, uh, images. I had every, everything, but uh, I don't know. Tugang's prices, so it's probably prices that are on there. But let's uh, yeah. go into Zizu. Yeah, exciting. Nice. I see even more custom images. <laughs> That's great. Very famous. Dutch people over here, and then okay. soccer game about Helmond and the Graafskamp. <laughs> I, I, I'm so I'm so happy that I don't need to read all these Dutch names. I like this one. It's like a little uh, information uh, thingy on the table. 
Ah, yeah. Right. That's clever. Very cool. Also uh, done with the custom... Yeah. yeah. Custom we images. We don't use them uh, enough, Mr. Leader. Is it uh, a point towards me that I shouldn't do custom uh, images out yeah. of font pieces? Yes. I think we should do more custom images. So, we have a lot of animals. Jesus. Okay. Uh, the entra entrance is over here. We have uh, meerkats, uh, a lot of different goats, and uh, okay. Jesus. It's horrible to translate Lama. all these. We have ostrich, Kangaroos. llama, kangaroo, uh, peafowl, camels, beavers, otters, lynx, uh, apparently kind of bird, bird. and a butcher. Okay, okay. Okay, let's That's do this. Audrey? So we are here. How shall we go? I guess from here. So we have one, two, In order. three, four, because and five. Yes. Sounds good. Okay. Sounds good. So first you. animal, meerkats. Sorry? First one. First animal, meerkats. Meerkats. Look at that. Yeah, that's a really realistic enclosure, I must say. Really happy that uh, Odikus used these stone walls here, which look really Jewish. I must say, I think that when they come with uh, came with the Euro Pike, uh, they added a lot more realism to the game because that's such a Jewish piece. I think this dry stone wall. Yeah. Again, there's one uh, custom image that didn't load. Yeah, probably some sort of information about meerkats. Yeah, but it's not this one. I can't find it. Ah, wait. Maybe he forgot it. I don't know. Maybe. But, uh, yeah, very nice. Yeah, the dry stone pieces are very, uh, are very cool here. We have some double music. It's very annoying. Double music? Yeah, I have double music in my ear. Oh my god. I don't have any music. That's good. That's good. So we Do you also inside. see a mesh tunnel? Outside, that's really cool. Oh, yeah. Wait. Yeah. I'm gonna go inside. Boom. Oh. That's cool. He made an indoor area, Mr. Leader. Okay. That's. You are gonna love yeah. It. That's something to look up to. Yeah. Oh. Uh, it's, re it's really clean, I must say. Like the tiles on the ground, mm -hmm. uh, the differently colored uh, walls, then some dry stone uh, in the actual keeper place, and the custom, uh, and the custom. How do you call it? Heat lamp. That's also cool. Really cool. Yeah, you made some A very little nice door. little uh, details in this one. Uh, Heather, welcome. Good to see you. Paro uh, is a guinea fowl, right? I don't know. I don't know. It's too difficult. All these translations. Poison Blade, welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, yeah, so. Meerkats, what do we have to say about yeah. them? Not much, right? I like this uh, yeah, little I think fence. Yeah, the fence rocks. is also cool. And the shit ton of burrows. Uh, I, I don't know how I feel about them digging so many burrows, but... I think it was a cool mechanic when it came to the game for the first time, but then it became slightly overwhelming, at least for me. It's a compensation for the amount of climbing for the sign, man. That's why I did it. <laughs> but um, yeah, okay. this enclosure, I really like the, how small it is. That's realistic. Very nice little backstage. Yes. So that's cool. And a nice little uh, opening for the, for the zoo. I'm not allowed to go yeah. in here. <laughs> you have to keep in mind it's all uh, low budget, I think. What the uh, from the description. It looks low it's weird, budget, right? Because this custom image is working. But yeah. Uh, the yeah, Alpha Steenbox is dagactief and eet grassen, kruiden, mossen, and in the winter ook kerstkorsten mossen. Nou, what else yeah. do you want to want to know, right? Nothing. Yeah, but I really like this. Uh, I really like the design and the QR code. That so, probably directs you to some sort of a place. Wait, I will scan it. Can you point on it? 
But are you gonna scan it? See if it works. Yeah. Yes. But I think that would be it's cool. too too pixelated. But uh Easy. I'm zooming in on it, especially for you. You will see it in ten seconds. Okay, okay. I, I'm waiting. <laughs> but in the meantime I can say that I really like the tree protection and the use of enrichment. Yeah, I was thinking okay. nice rock work, but I this is one uh, enrichment piece, right? I never used it. Climbing mountain. It's cool. So uh, it directed me to a site that is no longer available. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah, yeah, it's a shame. But I must say, this uh, arrangement piece really looks good in place. Uh, I couldn't uh, I ever um, make use of it, but uh, Adikus here really did a nice job. Uh, like making it, it a piece of this enclosure for Ibex. Yeah, I think it's because it's quite a big enclosure. So uh, mm -hmm. it fits. It's very nice. Yes. A nice yeah. centerpiece. There's a little shelter here. This one yeah, sleeping. All the realistic stuff. Very nice. Double fencing on the back. Very cool. That's what we like to see. That's what yeah. we lack. Also, as you can see, there's no pathing in the zoo, so there are no guests, which is always good. It's like Clash now, Star, yeah. Exactly. You know, a bee uh, hive uh, thingy? Yeah, the insect holder. And a huffle book. A what? Okay. Ah. A huffle book. There are a few uh, nice little details here. Because we have some drinking water over here. Okay. Very cool. cool. I like how the, how large is the whole enclosure. And the plant usage is really good. Odikus always amazes me with his plant usage. Green water. Cool. That's cool. Very nice. Cool combination of the thin grass and then the, the new flowers. Mm -hmm. Very nicely done. Yeah. I wish with the conservation pack we got like a typical grass piece, just a grass piece, without any cattails like the Yorkshire grass, just a grass piece, something like green grass, but then greener. You mm -hmm. know? That would be so cool. Or hay pieces. But, uh, or hay pieces. <laughs> it looks really nice. I was just checking out how we did it. Uh, especially mm -hmm. this top part is really cool. I clever, think clever. Used... Yeah. This place is really nice. Put a lot of time and effort into the foliage. That's really cool. Are we supposed to walk around the uh, the habitat? This one. I think it will be just a bunch of grass and rocks. But if you want to showcase it. I must say, do you see the fence that is surrounding surrounding this uh, enclosure? Mm -hmm. It is completely made out of nature tap. That's why the enclosure can be outside of the border. Ah. So this... Uh, this one? No. Is this all... Ah, European fence... Ah, plant to support, of course. So this is all uh, nature tap. There's even a little bench made from nature tap things. Yeah. This is. How? This is really dumb. Brain, you need to have to think about something. It like looks like a cornfield. This this part. <laughs> it's really nice. Marula, yeah, no, yeah. always plus point for me if there are guests. Well, uh, then uh, you must like East too, too. Because finally I put some guests in. Simply yet so <laughs> effective and really realistic. Yeah, I, I'm getting Dutch vibes. So that's always... Uh, if you're trying to make a Dutch zoo, then uh, that's plus points. But the foliage okay. is uh, really well done. Everything. Yeah. Aleppo pine tree. Never seen that one before. Uh, this is also from the new pack. 
Oh, where is it? Aleppo. No, Aleppo, wait. No, I'm not sure. Maybe it is from the Wetlands update. Not sure, man. Not sure. Very nice. I only know that the Mpingo tree is from this update. Look at the detail indoors. I mean, he's so yeah. good with the with the new decals. Mm -hmm. Right. But you you can't really. It just fits. Yeah. And look at the usage of different materials here. Using cork wood as yeah. some sort of a roof structure. That's so low budget yet so practical. Exactly. It's really really nice. Iron bars. That's cool. Yeah, that's a very good backstage area. It is, right? Mm -hmm. Little door over here. Let's go outside. And we have the ostrich looking at us. Yeah. Ostriches are creepy. Yeah, they are. I was not allowed to go here, but I did it anyway. <laughs> yeah, the decals are everywhere. We should really uh, pay attention to that. It's, uh, it's very, very nice. Oh, we almost forgot about the peafowls here. There's a peafowl, kangaroo, and a llama in uh, in one enclosure. That sounds like a petting zoo combo. <laughs> nice. This is typical uh, Dutch. These uh, shutters, the color with the with the triangles. It's really mm -hmm. cool. Damn the foliage. Yeah, the foliage is so good. And it is so brave. You must say that. That the uh, the use of the Yorkshire grass here. It being so lush. Um, other pieces. I don't know. It's a drink grass. I don't know. I can't see it. But it's, it's very, very nice. Yeah. So much better than the normal uh, long grass that we have in game. Yeah. And that, that the animals that can walk through it. That's uh, that's perfect. Because I was afraid mm -hmm. first with the new grass piece that you know we have flying animals. Mhm. Mm uh, that's really cool. Apparently, it has no hitboxes. I think. Oh, ah, that's perfect. Like the fence over here. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go. Uh, to this indoor area. Yeah. It must be interesting to make an indoor area for these three species. Well, let's see how Odicus did it. Yeah. Three fowls already in here. That's a good start. Nice little doors. And uh, we can separate even more animals in here. Yeah. I guess. Uh, it looks cool. Oh, there's a camel. Ah. A camel. Ah, that's the camel uh, enclosure. I'm going. Uh... Eh? Uh, so uh. it's like a m multi purpose building. Exactly. Very nice. Yeah. Oh, it's also very, very nice brave thing. with this, <laughs> this use of colors, <laughs> like the, yeah. these really, really green things. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I isn't that Dutch? Uh, not really. Yeah, the doors are. Dutch, I wouldn't say okay. that this on the roof. I might be wrong. Uh, but the doors over here are really, really typical. Uh, for Dutch. Mm -hmm. Nice. The enclosures are so big. Yeah. That's why I use nature pieces probably in the back to make them uh, a little bit bigger. I'm really looking yeah. forward to that restaurant. Mm -hmm. This is already yeah. such a Dutch looking area. It's, uh, Let's go. Did we did we go inside this enclosure yet? Ostrich. I think we were inside the ostrich nile le lechwe le lechwe le enclosure. 
I still don't know how to pronounce it. Yeah, me neither. Very nice. I, I like the low budget vibe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I really like no this thing. kind of uh, of Zeus. No real theming, uh, just uh, a grass enclosure with fans around it, and that's all. You have animals, and that is the main star of the show, right? Yep. Nice. Pannenkoekenhuis, indeed. So that's a typical uh, Dutch kind of uh, restaurant where you can eat pancakes. Mm -hmm. Pannenkoekenhuis, gewoon goed en gezellig. <laughs> I saw a little flag over here, which is the flag for uh, the south part of the Netherlands. Okay. That's cool. A different kind of beers, apparently. Peter Pannenkoek, also here. Okay. <laughs> nice. nice, nice, nice. Yeah, if you're Dutch, uh, you will recognize all these little uh, advertisements. And, uh, okay. There's a menu. Different kind of pancakes with cheese. Bacon, apple. Okay. Oh. Oh. There was a camel making a lot of noise. Yeah, they are so noisy. Camels in the game. So here we are in the restaurant. He even put decals in there. <laughs> That's a cool thing. That's clever. Yeah, that's a very nice interior, I must say. It's warm, it's cozy. Uh, very nice... Oh no, I thought he used restaurant here, but no. It is only trapped uh, shop members. No, they are not called the shop members. Is, the... There, is this all custom? No. No, it's not. Like... Oh, it is. <laughs> ah. Of course it is. I thought it was a restaurant. No, he made the kitchen himself and that's... Yeah, that's something... That's uh, pretty impressive, my... yeah. <laughs> yeah. Especially because I didn't notice it. <laughs> yeah, it is so well done that you do not notice these things. The plates. How did he make the plates? 16 pieces. Apparently, conservation flower pot. Uh -huh. That's clever. That's clever. All these little details. Yep. Damn. Is this, is this how Dutch restaurants look like? Yeah, especially these kind of. Uh, it's also quite a low budget food. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, yeah, it's really. Uh, really nice it's cool I like I like it yeah I like it too very well done and the shell of the building so the outside of the building is also really well done I like it yeah I keep flying to the roof uh, Mr. Poisonblade <laughs> that's a stupid explore mode that isn't working properly yeah, we'll take a look at it by night time in the end, if I uh, if I don't forget. First we have a uh, camel enclosure. He uses all kind of trees that I've never seen before. Empingo tree. Yeah, the empingo tree. Never seen it. Because it's new? Probably. Then we have beavers. Nice. Yeah. This is a European beaver. And it's European. chilling. Shit. Very nice. Cool enclosure. Again, very lush. Sometimes, somehow, he managed that animals can actually use it. Okay. Yeah, that's an achievement he plans to. Yeah. To make animals use an enclosure. It's 
spent a lot of time in the new enclosures in Eastwood uh, because the animals weren't able to use anything. So and then you have Especially to... the sound booth. Oh, whoa, spoiler. And... Uh... <laughs> yeah, horrible leader. Uh, horrible, I'm sorry. horrible, horrible I'm sorry. guy. Oh my god, I'm spoiling sorry. everything. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm have, sorry. Have a look at the beavers. Ah, this is the enrichment item. Yeah, the dumb thingy. Gonna make a dumb. Bang. Looks like poop. Okay. Let's see. I guess this also has. Oh. Little beaver backstage area. Yeah, also with uh, the green trim uh, on the roof. That's what I must say. Oh, and inside is really... Once again, Odikus is really... Uh, yeah, really brave with the colors. The very dark green uh, with these turquoise... Uh, I don't know how to even call that color. Tiles. And white concrete on the ground. Yeah, that's a pretty... Brave combo for me. I really like, I like this uh, this door. Mm -hmm. It's cool. Okay, let's see. On the other side, we have others. Yeah. Damn. Killing others. I love others. Let's give us some. Little little pond next to the restaurant. Mm -hmm. I like how everyone is now using the new otter instead of the giant otter. Because yeah, I think it looks slightly better. Yeah, yeah, I agree. It I think is a lot of people deep. were uh, were happy with those. The lynx, mm -hmm. Jesus! So many animals. That's another animal I haven't seen before. No? Nope. I never used it. Never. Oh my god. It's really cool. Yeah, the enclosure design is also really cool. Like that outdated city zoo, or maybe not city zoo, but just a cage for lynx. That's cool. They are easier to keep it in such standards. The backstage area for the lynx. Well, not a little. It's quite big. Yep. Ah. Open and close the doors. Other men. Mm. Nice. All safe and and nice. Nice, yeah, nice, nice. A, Jesus, this nice isn't a mini zoo anymore, guys. <laughs> that's a, a big zoo. Next time also, you guys are gonna get smaller uh, areas because it's getting too much. And, and then Odikus makes, uh, makes a whole zoo out of nature tap so he can make it how big he wants. If you guys keep bending the rules then we will make them more strict, right? Yeah. That's how we roll. A very Nothing nice little uh, the other enclosure. Yeah, once again dry stone as the walls. Nicely done, Jesus, there's even more. We'll still find a way, of course, of course. Ah, the little Leshna Ostoya trick using baby pee fouls. Very clever. Yeah. Yep, yep. You can also use baby casuaries, baby ostriches, whatever you want. You can use them all. Yeah. What is this? Yeah, that's cool. Ah, that's backstage. Let's get in there. Yeah. There's a Look, dude. Even killing. 
he even managed to put a whole freaking backstage in his 30 by 30, 35 by 35 grid. That's insane. This again old custom things. Mm -hmm. oh, of course it is. Jesus. Guys really had too much time. Yeah. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Yeah. Who even makes a custom keeper hat when you have a keeper hat in the game? Well, Odigus. Silos. I like the building. Mm -hmm. Right. Damn. Oh, even over here. Everything has like an interior. Mm -hmm. Even if yeah, air conditioning so in stock. I mean. I wonder where Clyde is. Yeah, me too. I we haven't seen him. Maybe he's in a smaller way, like a bag of oranges or something. Even the bins are full of trash. Yeah. Yeah, what do I have to say about this? It's incredibly uh, detailed. I, I have no words. I have no words. Jesus. There's probably even more coming up. Yeah. Another animal. Ah, yeah, the butcher. The das? Das. Das. That's a perfectly fine badger enclosure. I mean, yeah. Is there a mode? No, there is no mode. Okay, okay. We should go to the back at the backstage. Ah, the back okay. at the, the back backstage. At the back. We should go back at the back of the backstage. Okay, okay. okay. There's some clear instructions. Ah! I see Clyde. We found him. <laughs> oh my god. So he I is found there. Him. Nice. Ah, very nice. So the statue was uh, sponsored by donations from the Zoof Discord community. Wow. Oh. It's a statue of Clyde. Is, is this the final Clyde Easter egg when he got his own statue maybe it's time to make him rest in peace we'll see we have to go behind the hoiberg well let's do that the, the pile of hay let's do it ah uh, okay it. okay i'm gonna go there hmm i wonder what we will find over here I heard an animal. So something is supposed to be in here or Oh! There he is! I found Clyde. Clyde himself starving. Dehydrated. And he escaped. <laughs> but he's here. Oh my god. Why is he here? I don't know, it's Helmond, anything can happen. I guess it was supposed to be in here. There you go. Poor Clyde. Yeah, we all love Clyde. It's like a, a typical Discord meme, right? If a uh, if Canadian Goose was here. He even missed uh, a part of the backstage area, Lita. Oh, we are so bad. All made out of nature tap pieces. Jesus. My god. Yeah. Why is he farming weed? What do we have to say about this? It's time that... Uh, <sighs> 
You're gonna give some attention to your wife and kids now after this competition. <laughs> <laughs> it's good that you're going on holiday. Because, uh, yeah, it's amazing. I really like it. Even small details hey, that we stupid. didn't see yet. The, uh, the overgrown little water areas over here. <laughs> so much attention into the foliage, into details. Everything. Everything. Yeah. Everything is there, leader. Yeah, I think so. That's an ultimate Odikus build. Yeah, I I'm really impressed. I, I don't want I don't know what to I don't know what to say anymore. Well, keeping in mind that they only had 10 weeks. Yeah. I mean, if you and have 10 weeks, you will make one building, right? Uh, yeah, and one enclosure to it. Yeah. So uh it's insane, 10 weeks. Yeah. Nicely done, Mr. Odicus. Even solar panels on the on the staff building, yeah. All custom. It's insane. Freaking insane. Yeah, I think your boss uh, might have noticed that you were always working from home or something because uh Yeah. I don't know how <laughs> you did it. Custom playground. Everything is there. Let's uh, have a look at it by night. To see, uh, because last time I forgot and then he was angry and uh, the entrance is nicely lit. And then throughout the park I see some nice uh, lanterns or how do you call it? Mm -hmm. Lights. Lamp posts. Lamp posts. Nicely done. You should check out the restaurant. Ooh. Yeah, that's nice. That is nice. Restaurants by night are the best, I think. Yeah, this looks great. Well done, well done, well done. And we actually have some guests over there. Well, we don't oh. have any in the zoo, but there are some in the restaurant. Yeah, that's cool. You guys uh, should download it and check out how we did it. I'm expecting how to yeah there you go <laughs> very nice means goodbye in dutch and a great job mr uh, mr odikus i think we spent too much time in this one yeah 40 minutes jesus okay so let's uh <laughs> let's go to the uh, to the next one because we have six yeah submissions to have a look at tonight and i want to go uh, to bed uh, you know at normal time that's why i uh, moved the Stream, uh, yeah, to seven o'clock okay. instead of eight. To, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, should I tell you yeah, who is the, the next yes, creator? What's, what's the next one? Next one is something from Mr. VK77. So our uh, good old Discord member, and it's called Reservace Reservace Luzni Potok. Ah. And I think it's Czech or something. Probably. And uh, uh, I would love to read the description on this one, but actually there is no description included. Yeah, you uh, send it to Fane, but you can use the one from the Steam Workshop. From the Steam Workshop? Yes, so there's a link to the okay. Steam Workshop. Okay. Uh, I will. I will try to use it. Where is the link to the... Steam Workshop, here, okay. Give me a moment. We will give you one moment. Oh. Okay. Already looks nice. Okay. Where can I find so, the entrance? Reservatie Luzni, Luzni Potok is a small mini zoo between Velki Lu <laughs> what? <laughs> and Pleshna. Si situa situa situated... Uh, at the, at the small stream Luzni Potok near the Czech German border. The zoo is approximately one kilometer away from Plesnia and is reachable by foot. Did you get all the Czech words? Yes, you did very well. 36 mi minutes just for Odikus. Yeah. Well, long evening. Yes, yes, I know. But here we are. Rezervaci Luzni Potok. See? In, it was then in Polish, it would 
it would um, uh, lose lo potok in Polish would mean a loose stream. Well, it's kind of a loose stream. Yeah, I think so. Let's but see. But I like the entrance already. Yeah, beautiful wooden building. Nice little wooden, yeah, uh, some. wooden walls. Oh, I can already see the toilet. I like how uh, yeah, the toilet cool. is so open and everyone can uh, look into it. That's what they Let's like. See. Let's see. We're going in the zoo. Mm -hmm. Custom doors, everything. Isn't yeah. there something hidden in the toilet, Mr. Zoof? Is there? Between the toilets, I think. Oh, well, let's have a look then. Later. It's a very nice exhibit. What's this? Yeah, ah, yeah I like the plants on the walls. The new uh, thingy, or not? The new thingy, the axolotl. Yeah. Or I saw them in real I life think. yesterday. That was cool. Were they cool? They were very cool. Yeah. I like the uh, the vertical uh, planters. Yeah, that's cool. Ah, we have a map, so let's check. I'm yep. not sure what it says. It, it's oh, it's in German probably. Peepfowl. Tech. Prairie dog. And we have an otter, doll sheep, a bison, and a okay. Uh, ostrich. Okay, okay, that's cool. I like the layout of the zoo. It's very layouty. <laughs> Thanks for this. <laughs> that's a cool opinion. Okay. Look, Discord Duty is so happy to hear us. Ah. He, he went. Ah. And I found it. Yeah, Leader's I think it's secret Leader. Money Vault. Yeah, that's where I store all the money from my YouTube videos. Ah, well, that's a lot. Yeah, I'm a famous creator after all. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Let's see what do we have here. A langer vogel. I'm not sure yeah. what it is. Custom-made uh, birds. Sort of a bird. Jesus. Ah, this is the long bird. I ah. think VK was really proud of this one. <laughs> it looks really cool. Yeah. I admire the fact that he did custom birds, especially for this competition. Yeah. And that they are long. Yeah, I, w I wouldn't do that. Jesus. I can't even do that. I don't know how yeah. people uh, how people find the uh, the, the courage to, uh, to do it. Oh, there's like a little. Uh, oh, that's cool. Yeah, I'm a big fan of these wood pieces, so I already like it. It's connected to a backstage part. Yep, yep. Of course, custom feeder. Very nicely done. Yep. Ah, yeah, I'm happy to see that I people like... are still using the staff rooms. Yeah. But mm. I'm also happy to see that the new conservation park really did its job and everyone is using the new backstage pieces. Of course. Something that we were really missing in the game. Yeah. They finally listened to me and made them. Yeah, and they also made a custom small gate just because of your building in Lechna Ostoja. Exactly. Uh, I think Frontier is... Uh, yeah, they are really big fans of your work, Zuf. Yes, yes, they always call me and then they ask, oh, which pieces do you need? Then they uh, then they will make it. Yeah. Yeah, that's how it goes. Custom benches. Did you see it? Yeah, I did. They look like these sun buffing chairs on the beach. So you can lay on them and admire the long birds. We can have beer, we can have vodka, we have a bratwurst. I think nice. that's vodka. Or is it vodka? Vodka. Is... Vodka. Okay, vodka. Vodka in zoo. That's cool. This is uh, built from VK77, Mr. Disco Dude. Yeah, yeah. 
Be false. Nice. It's good to have pfouls in the enclosure. Last time I was in Wudzu in Poland, uh, they had free roaming pfouls, and they nearly stole my uh, dry uh, cabanos when I was eating them, and that wasn't pleasant at all. No, you uh, yeah. such a horrible experience for you, Nina. Yeah, I know. I don't like when someone steals my cabanos. Yeah, again, uh, so people are really using these new uh, foliage pieces, Lido, so I guess you're the only one that doesn't like them. Because I, I think it looks really nice. The flowers, the, the grass... Yeah, are, uh, yeah, I know, addition. but... Yeah, but... You see, the grass has these, like, cut tails, the pollen, sticks, however you call them, you know? Mm -hmm. And I would like a piece without them, like, uh, just a grass piece. That's all I want. Well, you can't have everything. Yeah. I think so. Can we go in here? Yes, we can. Hello? I think we should go to the other side. Yeah, I think so. Let's see, let's see. What do we have? The prairie dogs. I can already hear them. Nice. Really like the enclosure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I must say it looks really cool. I like the wooden beams in the back. That really gives that natural kind of vibe. Yeah. And really also look at the zoo fence. Yeah, zooish. I like the random. Uh... Yeah, sticks on the fence. Yeah. That looks cool. Yeah. Also, a raised viewing spot. for prairie dogs. Perfect. That's an ultimate uh, prairie dog enclosure. What can I say? Yeah, it's beautiful. I really like it. I really like this place so far. What is I in think the this is even yeah some kind of fence here. Separation area. At yeah yeah that must be it. Or can they go on the other side as well? Who knows? Who gate. knows? I'm just gonna follow the path. Because then uh, yeah. I will probably see everything. Might be mm -hmm. better. So I don't want to miss out on anything. Yeah. And then on the other side. What's this? What's this piece? Ah, okay. You're learning pieces? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have the doll sheep. Okay, that's cool. Nice. I always liked Doll Sheep. Like when they released, they yeah, they they were a cool animal from the very beginning, and they still are, still are. And the stream that is in the enclosure is this the Luzni Potok? Probably. Custom feeders. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone, That's something uh, to admire. Everyone paid attention to your uh, classes, uh, Nina. Yeah, th that's cool. I, 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 I think I encourage some people to actually build them for themselves. Okay. Nice, great work. Love this one. Yeah. Bit of viewing bridge. Yeah. Not sure where, you which way I should go. I think I should follow the path. Yeah, it's the Lushni Potok. Okay, okay. Nice. Also, I like that VK used the new grass path and covered it with uh, concrete or plaster. That's how he achieved that nice railing on the on the bridge, mm. like the guest bridge. Ah, that's how cool. I did it. Mm -hmm. Otters, very nice enclosure for otters. I think there's also a lot of backstage to explore. Later on, but we will have a look at the uh, indoor part. I always think these uh, some of the things in game are just too big. Like the security camera. Mm -hmm. Well, it looks nice. Yeah. 
they're slightly oversized. So on the water viewing, let's go there. Oh, that might be so really exciting. Let's see. Also, the, all the little rocks and foliage and, and little sticks and... It's all in the details. Yes. And I'm so happy that people really uh, focus on details in the mini zoo competitions. I mean, in every competition they, they focus on details, but you can clearly see it in the mini zoo competitions. Yeah. That every part of the zoo is like perfectly done. And I really like this underwater viewing. Yeah, I must say that uh, it isn't a typical underwater viewing because only part of it is submerged, not like the whole. Uh, window, which is also cool, because you can see the others from Especially above. for kids, they have like an eye level uh, viewing with the animals. Yeah, yeah. That's very nice. I like it. Yep, that's cool. Uh, where shall we go? Where shall we go? Shall we go over the bridge? Yeah, I think so. Oh, we yeah. need to find the crane, I think. There is a crane uh, somewhere in the back. Crane? Let's see, let's see. Go a little bit quicker. I can go through this fence. That looks like backstage stuff. Yeah. Following the river. Oh, this is cool. A plus B is C. There's a QR code again, Lida. Uh, Give me the QR code. Yeah. Maybe this one actually does something. Okay. Wait. Uh, okay. I'm scanning it. Okay. It. Okay. It. Pum for pum. Uh, video about the. Uh, it's a song about a uh, Pythagorean theorem. Ah, yeah. okay. You know? And we can clearly see that uh, Mr. VK77 is really into uh, maths. True. We have bison. This one is nice. I like the fence. We have to find the tractor, yeah? I think I spotted it somewhere. Oh Maybe my god. Uh... I really like this enclosure with the height difference. It's going uh, mm -hmm. up there, it's nice. It's the eye level technique. Exactly. Little backstage parts. Beautifully done. I like how consistent filming in this zoo is, like all the logs in the back, mm -hmm. they are yeah, throughout the zoo. They were in the prairie dog enclosure, now they are in the bison enclosure, they were in the bullshit enclosure. This place is really nice. <laughs> yeah, I really enjoy this habitat. Tree protection. Yeah. Of course, it's there. Nice. Yeah, nice part. Uh, bison. Ah, we have the ostrich, of course. Yep. You also promised some ostrich. Mm -hmm. ah, That's this right. is clever. Using the uh, defenses over here as tree protection. Does that work with ostrich? I don't know. In real life? I must say I do not really know that much about ostrich enclosures because oh I usually God. try to avoid them. Sorry. Uh, I don't like big bears. I like this uh, little uh, shelter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, custom feeder also. Yep. Course. A nice modern structure of glass that is very modern. I think he used the new pieces, the new off grid glass pieces. They are really cool. 
Let's see which way I should go. Really like how the river is uh, going through the uh, entire zoo. Yeah, that's why it is called Luzni Potok. Yeah, exactly. Lu Stream. See if I uh, yeah. if I got everything because I think we missed uh, some uh, backstage parts. We found those. Uh, ah, we have the bison Find enclosure the here. On the back, you should really pay attention to these details. Okay, so the tractor is between the restaurant and Prairie yeah. Town. Okay. I knew I spotted it somewhere. Ah, nice. I found it. Okay, <laughs> is it cool. a custom made tractor? It's a custom made tractor. Oh, of course it does. is. Yeah, because there were no blueprints allowed. Keep that in mind. Yeah, so everything that you'll see is custom made. That's cool. Yeah, and this Nicely tractor done. is really well done. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, I think half of the time he spent on this zoo, he spent on making this tractor. <laughs> I can imagine. It's so hard to make something like that. Okay. Do you right. think we think. got everything? Yeah, I think so. Just a little uh, nighttime viewing. But I have to say, I really like this place. It's really consistent. I like all the wooden uh, wooden architecture and, and the fences that has been used. It's a yeah, great place. It, it, I like how it's going. It, uh, going, uh, yeah, all over the place. Like the path uh, together with the river. And it's not this squarish little zoo. It's, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, it's very nice. I like it. Uh, you remember my steam train? Yeah, <laughs> you remember that one. I can uh, only imagine how much time went into that. Mm -hmm. Ostrich enclosure are mostly very plain. They're really stupid. <laughs> it will sometimes happen that they break their legs when they are running away from something. Nice, because they don't watch all the time when they run. Small okay. but beautiful, yeah. It's, yeah, it's a mini zoo. So, uh, what it Look was all about. The restaurant. Sorry? Look inside the restaurant. That's what VK said to us. Ah. Dobra voda. Ah, dobra voda. Ah. In Poland, that would be dobra wódka, probably. Ah. Well, that's even a little kitchen area. And uh, yep. you can wash the dishes over here. Mm -hmm. Nicely done. Oh, the kitchen. Of course. That's cool. Potatoes frying. Nice. Yeah. Even more Dobra Voda. Someone is cool. really obsessed about Dobra Voda. <laughs> Someone likes their, uh, their water. Yeah. Great. Well done, okay. uh, VK. I really like it. Well done. Thanks yeah. for uh, for participating mm -hmm. in our uh, wonderful little uh, contest. Yep, uh, yep. Yeah, let's uh, continue to the next one, uh, Mr. Leader. So, uh, so the next co entry schedule. is from Crazy Gamer M M. Yeah, Crazy Gamer Gamer M. And the Crazy Gamer called, M. Yeah, and the submission is called Animal Kingdom. Alright. Okay. So. You have some Polish internet, uh, Lida. Oh, really? Yeah. Is it really bad? Yeah, it was really bad, but it's getting better. Okay. Okay. So, Animal Kingdom. Animal That's how the place is Kingdom. called. Let's do it. Yeah. Here is my zoo for zoo competition. Walk through the zoo to see the variety of animals waiting for you. Have a go and the go ape or seat and watch others having a go or go. <laughs> what? I don't know. Wait. Okay. Have a have a go on the go ape, eight or seat and watch others having a go or go and have a meal in the restaurant uh -huh. while watching a both you, the emerald leopard sleeping. Ooh. 
Animal Kingdom. Okay. Let's do this. I'm still confused about egg go, egg go. But okay. That's okay. Can't uh, be confused. I, I, I know this uh, submission. Uh, the okay. person that wanted to submit it, I think it is her or his first time ah. in the co uh, participating. And at first, the person was really shy, and I'm so happy that he or she finally uh, decided to participate and show her or his building skills to us. Yeah, definitely. We love everything that you guys make, and so we will showcase everything. So, uh... yep, yep. Go ape entrance. Ah, okay. I get it. I get it. I get it. Ape entrance. We go ape. Okay. That's where you can uh, climb this thing, probably. That's really cool. Okay. That's something yeah, for you, Yeah, that's like a rope park. Yeah. For me? Why? Yeah, because I'm you're late. such a... Such a... Fit schoolboy, you know? You can... Uh, you can climb everything. Like a monkey. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a monkey. Cool. So we start here with this nice little terrace. I love the uh, use of the uh, new pathing. Yeah, yeah. It's really nice. I like the. Uh, it's 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 kind of vibrant with these uh, with these colors. Yeah. With the new. You need to be really brave to uh, have these kind of colors. Exactly. Nice little exhibits. Yes. Ooh. Oh, using the new 3D printed walls. In the last stream, we said that we haven't seen anyone use them, and here. Crazy Gamer M comes with them. Of course. And uses them very well. Yes, that's right. Let's see. Ah, here's the entrance. This is where we were supposed to come in. Like this. Beam. We have some friendly yeah. people inviting us. Mm -hmm. Welcome, welcome. We have a gift shop. Something like yeah, that, lovely. I guess. Lovely use of the new counters. Oh, and there's even a little viewing spot over here. Ah, nice. 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 I like that that the new uh, conservation pack statues were used in the gift shop as I think giant plushies or somewhere. They look like plushies, don't they? Yeah. Very big ones. A jumbo sized one. Exactly. One second. A lot of music. Alright. Let's get back in. Oh, there's a map. Yeah, that's, that's good. last five points already. Uh, go a play. And we have a Eurasian Lynx, Giant Andy, the Capybara, Bait Staper, and more Leopard, and the Food Hall. And a Camel and the Pzolski horse in the back. Pzolski horse. Zewalski. Zewalski. Yes. Horse. Yes. Horse. Do you want to hear it all in Polish? No. Okay. We have the links enclosure. Nice big indoor area. And then we have the uh, the outer part. Oh, we have some custom fencing here. With an overhang. With an overhang, double That's fencing. Realistic. Yeah, nice. I, I think someone attended an academy meeting. Exactly. I like nice. the usage of the Australian logs here. Yeah. Don't you think? Haven't seen that. Great foliage inside. Nice little water area. Well, little. Quite a big water area for these animals. Yeah, a, a lynx castle. Or no, is it Amur Leopard? No, oh, it's, it's a Lynx, right? Lynx. Yeah. Lynx castle in the middle. Cool. So they can climb it and chill there or somewhere. Chilling. Chilling. Climbing. Using the new logs here. Living their best lives. Doing Lynx stuff. Exactly. Being Lynxy, you know? Exactly. I really like the. Uh, should check it out. Uh, in, not in explorer mode. See if we can follow along. The uh, 
the three uh, games. Oh, and you, when you drop down, you will fall into this enclosure. That's nice. There we have them. The horses and the camels together. I like this. Nice custom fencing. Camel pooping in front of me. Okay. Of course there is. I like it that it, it, they mixed uh, the camels with the horses. Mm -hmm. uh, that's something to do now that the camels are rescaled properly, so they match with the horses better. Because previously the camels were really small compared to the horses. Mm -hmm. But now Frontier fixed that issue and yeah, I think it looks like a nice Mongolia desert or what, wherever they live uh, enclosure. Yeah. Looks cool. There's even a little indoor part. Nice. Yes. That's well done. Mm -hmm. Oh, the enclosure yeah. continues on the other side. That's a big enclosure. Yeah. Nicely done. Um, another. Yeah, which one was this? Capybara, giant ant eater. Right over there. Tape here. Yeah. There should be a tape. There is a tape here. Okay. That's cool. Also, look that uh, the 3D printed walls are used everywhere. Of course. That's Great. Like, uh, when you buy a new pack, yeah. you have to use it. You know? Yeah, that's right. I haven't really used it, so yeah, I'm just jealous. I can imagine. I like this enclosure. Look at the shelters here. Yeah. They are so colorful and nice and original. Yeah. Yeah. And okay. I think you can go uh, above the enclosure with the ape mm -hmm. uh, ring root. That's also cool. Yeah, that's really nice. Yeah, I wonder how the tree games work. I guess you have to slide down over there. So that's the exit. Yeah, I think so. Oh. You will have yeah. a look. Hmm. That's cool. Oh, yeah. This is a start. Uh, you have to climb up. Mm -hmm. Also all custom made. Yeah. And you can go uh, two levels high. Mm-hmm. Okay. We have a big cage for the leopard. Oh, that's nice. I'm looking forward to the restaurant there. As the description said, you will be able to watch leopards sleeping above your head. Above my head? Yeah. Sounds like a cool experience, right? Let's go inside. Boom. Nice. There's a restaurant. It's where people can sit. Ah, yeah. They can walk uh, all over the glass uh, thingy. See? That's cool. It's clever. That is nice. Mm -hmm. You can even, it's big enough to, uh, to put uh, elephants in there. You will need I don't very think the glass would appreciate the weight of uh, elephants. Of course it will. That's nice, that's a really cool idea. Yeah. I mean, the, the zoo is full of uh, things we've never seen before, right? This with the uh, yeah. the tree games and, uh, and with, the, with the animals above your head in the restaurant. That's really cool. Yeah, the, the person behind this build must be really creative. Yeah. That's for sure. Yeah. Exactly. And I always like these things because I can learn something and maybe try to incorporate it into my own builds, right? Mm -hmm. Exactly. We have some staff I mean, area over here. Mm -hmm. And then. Uh, I mean, in Panzu, we don't really do the three games, right? But they are pretty common in Zeus, at least in Polish Zeus. Yeah, and you Zoo will always have some, some parts for, uh, for kids where they can go. 
through some uh, bamboo passage or uh, where they can go uh, climbing something or yeah. yeah, yeah. Let's uh, have a little nighttime look. I don't think I saw any. Uh, that's okay. Normally uh, zoos don't really operate at night, so uh, that's right. Perfect. Yeah, I'm I'm a big fan of the of the tree games. And especially since this is your uh, first submission, it's really well done. A lot of uh, nice little creative ideas over here. I really like that. Custom fencing. Yes, yes. You can. Uh, you should really continue playing the game, and um, yeah, hopefully you can participate in the uh, in the in the next competition again. So, yes, uh, yes. We would love to see some uh, some more, right? Yes, that's right. We mm. always love returning players. Exactly. And I also okay. like that you stick with our rules so nicely within the border and uh, so it doesn't take us 45 minutes to uh, to tour uh, to tour it. Thank you very much for your uh, submission. Thank you very much for participating and hopefully uh, yeah see you in in the next competition. Mm -hmm. Let's go to the okay. next one. Mr. Lider. So the next one is from Borbak Uskada ah. uh, who participated in one of community zoos if I'm correct but oh, really? he made yeah he made a Tio Tirwa Kanas Tio Tio Tirwa Kanas something like that I think that's some sort of an ancient South American word uh, so uh, n the name of the zoo, I don't want to make... Uh, it's uh, it's like the how you should pronounce it. T-O-T-K-R-A-K-A-N-A-S Okay, okay, okay. okay. That's what it says. Uh, okay, yeah, but I, I'm i not good at these things. Okay. Okay, so... T-O-T-K-R-A-K-A-N-A-S Mini Zoo is a zoo inspired by Maya's cities. It is a free inspiration of a small Maya remote city lost in the middle of the jungle fold uh, into ruins and transformed with a minimum budget into a mini zoo with local fauna. Being absent almost all July, I lacked a lot of time to polish things as I wished to, like custom billboards, but I'm still okay with the results. Note, Pecaris are played by Babirusas. Enjoy the tour. Thank you. I, 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 I must say, uh, I'm already looking forward to this one because I've seen glimpses of it in the uh, in the competition meetings, Ooh. you see. I see. I always like uh, like to see uh, the progress in the competition meetings and then see the whole product in the stream. Right. I guess the weather is supposed to be cloudy, so I'll keep it that way. Already, it looks like a Mayan city from above. Yeah. Like a Machu Picchu. Machu Picchu. Let's but do this. Machu Picchu. Was hello, my hello, or... welcome, pip shot things. Nice, custom bins. And we start with some others on the left. This is not, this is not the entrance. Not? No, that's what Barbakuskada said. Ah, but why that's, did we... This is not the entrance. Why did we start over here then? Let's check, where's the entrance then? Ah, yeah. It's a tip for next time. If you save your zoo and the final before you uh, uh, sub submit it, then you uh, the camera will be there. So I know where I have to start. If I will join, it will be a minimum 20k pieces for competition. Yeah, that's how these gratitude rolls, right? Yeah. Okay. You have to make a map, use it. Yeah, true. My bad. But here we are. Teo Tuku 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 Mini Zoo. Teo Tuku 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 Tuku. Yeah, I don't know why Lida was so. Uh, being so difficult about it. It's very easy name. So we have to buy our tickets. Oh, very uh, nice. Uh, Wheelchair right access. Right in the entrance of the zoo, there should be a map for us. Ah, where? Right in the entrance. Right? As in... 
not left but right or uh... Uh, right at the entrance of the zoo uh -huh. so just after you enter there should mm -hmm. be a map somewhere okay. and it should be 3d <coughs> oh a 3d map ah this is the entrance ah i found it 3d map here we are yeah Ooh. that's why Articus shouldn't have shouted at you because we didn't have a 2d map we only have a 3d map yeah that we just found Odicus. yeah jesus bad behavior we need to moderate that guy but let's appreciate this 3d map mr leader yeah that's a really cool one that's you have marked awesome. where you are you have all the palm trees yeah it is cool and I think he used the new conservation uh, planted roof to make the grass. Yep. So we can go this way. Like that, I guess. Let's do that. Mm -hmm. So let's go to the left. And yeah, check I out think we some should, animals. Should. Staff only. Well, I'm gonna go in there anyway. Well, yeah, not we here. Have the okay. Pass. <laughs> they knew. Uh, Babirusa and some uh, llamas. This is not uh, Babirusa, this is Pekari. Ah, but uh, the, the the sign says Babirusa. Yeah, but it is Pekari and Babirusa is mm. only play. <coughs> Look at the foliage everywhere, all the rock work. Yeah, I, I love the tropical foliage. I, I mean, I don't like to use it myself, but yeah. I like when other people use it. Custom benches. Have you noticed them? I've noticed them. Everything okay. is custom. A lot of tempo pieces. They are yes. so nice to use. The bar chilling. Also, the 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 net fence uh, that is preventing capybaras from swimming out of the enclosure is really cool. Yeah. The rope fence. True. Zamu Parfu. Okay, they pull up. To be silent over here. Yeah, little backstage. Here the uh, staff can enter the enclosure. I like how the uh, a wheelchair uh, access everywhere. Yeah, that's. Uh, a cool thing. Did we it have a like this? Uh, entry before that had a wheelchair access? Or is it the first one in the competition that has wheelchair access everywhere? Uh, I, I think this is one, one of the very few ones. Especially with mm -hmm. like this explicit wheelchair access. Mm -hmm. Really love it. Really great buildings. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm a big fan of the temple pieces. So. Little bridge. Yeah, we all know. Nice. We have giant ant eaters right over there. Goodbye, Discord dude. We hope to see you later. Discord dude is very enthusiastic today. CJ's build had wheelchair access. Of course it did. Yeah. Right. How could I for? How could I forget about CJ? I don't know. He's your best friend. How you, can you bro. forget? Yeah, he's my bro. My yeah. bra. Bra. Stay bear. Nice one. Mm -hmm. I love the, the constant filming. I mean, it's mm -hmm. not a filming because it's like an actual Mayan or not Mayan Aztec temple. But yeah. I, I like the feel of this place. Yeah, all well, little details on the fence. Even the TV screens, they are attached. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. It's all in the details. All in the details, right. And then we have some terrace overviewing the tapers. Mm -hmm. It's always cool to have 
different viewings. Nice little bridge, by the way. Okay. Nice. Yeah, the bridge is cool. What a view. Nice. Um, let's go this way. What do we have here? Really nice lush enclosure. Oh, we have some tortoises. Oh, nice. I always love tortoises. They are chilling, sleeping after their dinner. Chilling. Chilling like a tortoise does. Yeah, all his life. I would love to be a tortoise. Yeah. Like, what do you need to do as a tortoise? You don't need to pay taxes. You don't need to raise your children because they raise themselves. Yeah, that's a good life. A tortoise life. A tortoise life. I don't know how I ended up here, but there's like an entire underground with the fridge that's really cool backstage area yeah that's a really cool backstage area don't you think, think very so. detailed really detailed ah that's the ah yes 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 custom meat hmm. well done yeah I'm really impressed by the backstage. That's cool. What is it for? I for think. Jaguars? I think. Jaguars, yes. Yeah. Nice. Thirsty. Still 2,000 degrees today? here, so... Plus minus 2, but around 2,000. Okay, okay. So, uh... It's not that hot here in Poland, at least not in my part of Poland. Oh. But here it's very bad. Um... Yeah, nice little building. It's cool. Yeah, this... This whole place is really, really nice. I'm really impressed. Yeah, look at this. I mean, look at the different height, mm -hmm. heights. Great little rockies. The... Yeah, yeah. Oh, I can even go inside as a toilet. Ooh. Very important. Some exhibits. Nice. That's what they like to see. Ah, this is where I went down. Yeah, yeah. Voting will be very hard. Yeah, I can imagine. Also because everything is uh, so different. Mm -hmm. All these different kind of themes and and uh, yeah, some people uh, didn't really make uh, like this this yeah typical zoo. So it's really hard to compare. I think so. It really depends yes. on what you. Uh, on what you prefer. Mm -hmm. I like these I like these little uh, fantasy buildings. Like mm -hmm. that. Um Let me see everything. I'm not sure. We uh I, we ended over we here. I think we missed this part. Yeah, with the others. Okay, okay. Somehow I missed this. I missed quite a big part of the zoo. Or not? Oh, I went through here. Mm -hmm. I missed the restaurant. Damn. Oh my god. And underwood reviewing area. Of course I did. For which animal? For otters. Ah. Yeah, so I was here. Ah. There you go. So on one side, we have the leopards. Oh, and then on the other side, you will have honor water viewing. How cool is that? Yeah, there's like two in one. Exactly. 
Yeah, I like this. I like the combination of the red and the normal uh, mm -hmm. tempo pieces. Agreed. Everyone's so talented and creative in the first and in this tool. Yep. Nice. I like this place. I know you're not a fan of tropical things, but I always like them. Yeah. Look at the layout. Yeah. Nicely done. I, I must say, I'm really impressed with this one. Meantime, I really like it. Gonna switch to nighttime. Mm -hmm. So, I have a good, a good information for you. Oh. We have only two zoos left. Oh. Yeah, so we can go to bed early today. <laughs> well, not early. Still have two left. Yeah. Nice yeah, place. Mr. Burbuck. Yeah, I, he said that he wanted to create a compact city feeling, and I think he achieved this. Yeah. And I, um, I can feel like in an ancient city. Asian. It was inspired ancient. by uh, a oh, ancient. ancient. Okay. Yes. Good. You're Asian. Nicely done. Yeah, I like the lighting with the torches and. I think by night it looks even better. Yeah. Great work. Great work. Mr. Burbas Bach Uskada. Yeah. Okay. Shall we move on to the another? Yes. Let's do it. So the next submission is from is from Lawrence Creations. I have have you do you recognize the name? Uh, I recognize the name, not sure if we saw any submissions yet. Okay. Kaomi Mini Zoo, Zoo competition. The Kaomi Mini Zoo is my latest creation made for Zoo's Mini Zoo competition. The Kayo, or maybe Kiyomi, Kiyomi Mini Zoo. Oh yeah, maybe Kiyomi. Kiyomi Mini Zoo is an Asian animal sanctuary located in the tropics of East Asia and is home to various native Asian species. This build isn't completely finished as I, uh, as I ran out of time to do it to do a lot of the detailing. Regardless, I'm still pretty pleased with it and I hope you all enjoy it as much as I do. Perfect. Let's have a look once it's loaded. Okay, Stand. just a warning. This zoo isn't completely finished, I only had two weeks to build it and I would have liked a little more time to do a lot of the detail work I was planning to add, but I was happy enough with the build to submit it. And that's good to hear, right? Well, I can see it's unfinished, but I can also see there's a lot of nice details and damn. Okay, let's do this. Yeah, I already love the Japanese style here. Yeah. Or maybe not Japanese, but yeah. Like the Asian style, that's what I want to say. Beautiful entrance building. Yeah, that's that's right. Also, uh, around the trees, are these the 3D printed walls? No. The trees? Oh, on the floor. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's just plaster. Okay, okay, sorry. Oop. I was hyped that people really started to use that technique. Uh -huh. Okay, cool. Yeah, as I said, highly detailed entrance building. You can buy tickets. Well done. Damn. Right. Let's go to the left. To the primage. I hope uh, Lawrence Creations uh, doesn't end up like uh, Eine Banane. So um, there will be only unfinished builds submitted. Speaking about Aina Banana, I didn't see a uh, submission this time. No, no submission from Aina Banana? No. That's sad. It's very sad. Yeah. I wanted to see another elephant house. Primates. Yeah. 
I have to admit, I, I wish I could have seen the finished version and see what uh, was planned here in the in the middle. Mm -hmm. Gives me Bing Chilling vibes. Bing Chilling? Bing Chilling? I don't know. What is Bing Chilling? I don't know. Ah, Orangutan. Okay. Oh no. Yeah, there's one Orangutan. And there's one Siamang. Dang. Okay. Sounds Only like one something one is escaping. Oh no. No, yeah. several. Okay, okay. The, uh, the primates. Ah. The this is the outdoor design. enclosure. Very nice. Nice climbing frame. There is one. Uh, there is one uh, detail I would like to point out. So when you enter the building through the automatic doors, you know, mm -hmm. there was the photo cell above the door, and that was so cool. So when you go to the outdoor area. On the door, there was a photo cell, like the moving detection system, and that's a cool detail. Ah, yes. On the main True. door. That's clever. Well seen. And 3D printed walls. Yeah. I like the structure of this uh, building. Nice, nice viewing spot over here. Yeah, I'm a big fan of this building actually. A lot of ivy, that's really Zubish. And Discord dude is back again. Oh no. Nice. Let's see. Let's continue to the camels. Again, same building style. I really like that. This uh, This submission is from uh, Lawrence Creations. Camels make a lot of noise. Yeah. Wow, I really like this enclosure actually. It's nicely made. Just a fence. Control. Double fencing. Yeah, that's cool. Nice. Yeah, the indoor area. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the building is really nice. There's also the horse here. I can imagine that they were uh, proud enough uh, <laughs> to show it, even though it's. Uh, mm -hmm unfinished but yeah these parts aren't unfinished at all looks so nice they look incredible also the lock fence in the back That's this cool. was made in two weeks what did they say yeah this, uh, two weeks nice that's so cool man two weeks Mm -hmm. Imagine they are ten weeks. Yeah, it would be like a whole metropolis zoo. Yeah. Let's see, this building looks promising. I would never manage to do that in two weeks. Yeah, need me neither. We have a me insects neither. house. Ooh. Let's go inside. Sounds promising. Stop only area. Nice exhibits. Nice little roof. Oh. <laughs> no staff area. Very nice. I did my build in one and a half weeks. Jesus, guys. 
Where do you find the time? Too much time? Yeah, I can imagine. There's all the planters, all the little details on that. Mm -hmm. Right. The ceiling is really nice. The glass structure. Yeah. Nice. The backstage. They all work from home, I guess. <laughs> I think so. I have a feeling I went into a habitat. Oh, <laughs> some cows. Ooh. The wild water buffalo. Nice. Great little pool area here. Mm -hmm. yes, I like the tree protections. I think that's defense used here. Uh, yeah. The European one, I'm sure. Painted metal Maybe rod. No. Oh, no. Pe it's Pe custom. Okay. It's custom. Nice. That's cool. I think I know where I I saw something similar to this. You know this creator called Caesar Creates? Mm -hmm. He used something like that in Elm Hill City Zoo. Mm -hmm. In his uh, most recent hoofstock enclosures. Really nice enclosure. Mm -hmm. Right. Nice. Was inspired by Caesar. I think yeah. so. Yeah, that's what they say. In chat. Ah, okay. See? Everyone likes Caesar Creates. Well, who doesn't? Yeah, I yep. like him. Nice. Look he's old. Fume. He's Polish too, so I need to like him too. Of course. But I like Germans too. Good. Um. Damn. I really, really wish that this part was finished. Damn. There's so much. Uh, Oh, there's some escaping animals. <laughs> I hope that's okay. <laughs> Very nice. How many submissions did I miss? Uh, a couple of them, I think. Let's have a little top view. I think, uh, yeah, I can see you ran out of time with like the, the backstage uh, thingies, but still managed to put some detail in here. But the buildings, damn, they are really impressive. Especially the primates building. I really like the layout of it. Like the different height levels and all the different areas. And it's really impressive. Especially with the monkeys climbing all around it. And then this building as well. Yeah, the buildings are really impressive. Right, Lieder? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, That's yeah. Right. He didn't yeah. fall asleep. I like. Yeah. No, no. I'm still there. Sorry. I was just reading the description of the next submission. Ah. I was preparing it for you. Good, good, good. Perfect. Yeah, Lawrence. I. Uh, yeah. If you find time to finish it, then uh, and then send it to us. That would be. Uh, <laughs> that would be yeah, really for nice. A, for a zoo, zoo tour. Yeah, I can always do that. If you're interested. So. Uh, Beautiful. I'm not sure if you plan to, uh, yeah, to uh, to finish it, but please do and uh, and show it to us because I really like it. Yeah, I, yeah, well I done. Really it. It's really promising for the next competition. Uh, Odikis is already afraid. I can tell you that. Yeah, yeah. that's good. He's pooping his pants. Exactly. I can already smell it. Yeah, well done, Lawrence. Uh, and uh, I thank you for submitting this, even though you didn't uh, finish it completely. But I'm happy that you showed us because I can see the the potential, you know. Yep, yep. I'm always afraid. That's what keeps me going. Ah, good. The fear. The fear. Okay. So the last submission. Yes. Let's do it. Okay. It is from Brian Ennis. 12. 
Ah, number 12. I wonder what happened uh, to the previous 11 ones. Yeah, it's okay. always, uh... So the description of the zoo. Accidentally Asian Zoo. That's the name. Good name. Uh, Located on the fringe of suburbia, this new zoological development was built as a way to educate the plant zoo citizens of the biological wonders of the world. Currently in its first phase, the zoo features a myriad of species including its newest addition, the Asiatic lions, first thought to be the West African lions when first acquired for some strange reason, they actually turned out to be genetic relatives of the Asiatic species. Above a subway route between the main city and the airport, the zoo will be a perfect stop off point for tourists and will captivate the brains of guests of all ages. Conservation and education is at the heart of the zoo's ethos. The zoo features the following species as a part of its first phase of development Asiatic lions, Simon gibbons, orangutans, Asian small crowed otters, wild water buffaloes, binturung, greater flamingos, Indian peafowls, they are free roaming. Plans to expand the zoo are currently on hold as we wait crucial funding from our primary investor, Zoof. Credit to a certain Mr. Gecko for helping me out with the map and so many things. This project is slightly incomplete due to the work time constraints and my style of building. The build has been made with being in guest mode in mind. The only observable and worked on backstage areas are for the lions and for the buffalo. Please remove the red border for the best experience. Optimal settings for viewings are 9.56 am and using the Tundra Dawn filter in game. Okay. 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 I'm deleting the border. What was the time they could say? 9.56. 9.56? Yes. What a weird time. And there was something else, like a... Yeah, uh, you can use the Tundra Dawn filter. Is a filter? I'm learning something new. Yeah, in, in the camera settings. Like, no, you go, you see the export mode. Ah. And to the left of the export mode, you have the filters. Okay, there you go. Entrance. And that's going nowhere. That's beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Okay, nice. I think that's. So I, I think this was the subway station. Subway yeah. station. Mm -hmm. That's this part. Can't go in. And then we have this beautiful entrance building. Yeah, it's really cool. That one is really annoying. The video advertisement. So I'm switching that off. <laughs> <laughs> let's go. Uh, let's go into the zoo. Is this costume thingies? Yeah, of course. I was already wondering how did he get these small planks, but. Yeah, custom. Custom, custom. Of course it is. Nice little modern thingies. Maxilente. Mm -hmm. The entrance is the amazing Mexican. already. Ooh. Oh, I've, I think I've seen this one. With the with the meetups, completely mm -hmm. custom kitchen. Damn. Yeah, that's right. Restaurant. Beautiful details. I love the feeling. Yeah, oh, lovely nice. place. Nice, nice. I really like it. It's amazing. Very realistic. Yeah, yeah. Huh? That's for trash. Sure. Yeah, you remember this as well? Yeah. It sticks with you, right? Mm -hmm. There we go. Amazing. I agree. I guess I missed the custom image or something. I don't know. Custom flooring here as well. Yeah, that's that's good to point out. P files, free roaming. Yep, yep, yep. Ah, there we go. First enclosure. Siamang. Oh. Boo. I've never seen them actually doing this. <laughs> hey there, using the rope pieces like this. 
Okay. That's cool. Oh, why are they doing these on the rope pieces? I don't know. I've never cool. seen that. Yeah, me neither. Yeah, it is cool. I keep flying somehow. Uh, a really nice enclosure. I love the climbing frame. And that they are using it. Yep, yep. That's, a, that's an accomplishment, I would say. Yeah, that's for sure. Little boy sticking through. Mm -hmm. Go up. I noticed last week use uh, the straight rope pieces. Yeah, apparently. I can view something. I'm not sure what. Ooh, orangutan. Nice. That's cool. It's the indoor part for the Siamang, I guess. Then we have the orangutans on the other side. It's a beautiful climbing frame again. Yep, yep. That's that's true. I was in a zoo with roaming peafowls. They stole my french fries. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, and they stole my cabanos. Horrible. See? Horrible creatures. Are okay, should we now uh, take the down route? Yeah. Or are you already taking it? I'm already there. In the building. But do you see uh, the custom custom puddles on the ground? I did. I zoomed okay. into it. Especially for you. Okay, okay. And I think I recognize the entrance to the building from somewhere. I don't know. No, no. I, I did uh, this very similar design in my uh, Land of the Tiger thing in Prehistoric Kingdom. Like that, that mm. plaster triangle with bamboo sticking through. Ah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Clever. Boom, let's go inside. Exhibit. Some indoor part for the orangutan. What's the thing uh, going down? Ah. Ah. Nice. Probably can't use it, but it's cool. It's a nice idea. Yeah, yeah. Looks nice. The building style is really great. Nice fence. It's realistic. Only 1900 pieces. <laughs> Great work. Nice. Oh, that's a really cool... Uh, yeah. Fence. Nicely done. We have the lion enclosure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. With a tent here. Oh, they, they have something like this in. Uh, ah, somewhere in the Netherlands. Not sure if it's Gaia Zoo or Amersfoort. You gotta have to jeep through the, through the glass. So you can sit I inside. That's, that's also that's in the, the. I uh, think that's the Gaia Zoo. Yeah, could be. Also in the lion enclosure, they have it. It's really cool. Yeah. We have this something, something like this in Wrocław Zoo in Poland. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice enclosure. Realistic fence, very important. Yeah, I like the secondary fence. I thought it was Zoo Park Overloon. Nice. Well, I've never been there. So, uh, I'll maybe have it in more places. Could be. Nice little gardening work here. You see this. How is this made? I want to see it. Ah. Okay. Then the wooden beam. Then, ah, okay, 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 okay. Nicely done. Mm -hmm. 
Well done, well done. Oh, we have a nice little uh, waterfall over here. A little river, we river. Yeah, yeah. Nice, nice work. What are buffalo? Yeah. I can see they are popular. Yeah, pretty cheap to upkeep. And yeah. Cool animals in general. Over to the bridge. Oh, uh, and uh, we forgot, but we also have the backstage in the lion enclosure and the water buffalo enclosure. These are mm -hmm. the two backstages that we can check out. Good, good, good. We'll do that. Look at this. What's in here? Ah, bean to room. Yeah. Winter room and otters. Little. How did you do this? Little underwater viewing. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Oh, and we almost forgot about the flamingos. Yeah, flamingos. Oh, oh my God. How could we almost forget about those? Yeah, Finny would be so angry. Yeah. Nice enclosure. Like the water. Where are you jumping like, like that? Sorry? Like every 10 seconds you jump like that. How do you do that? Yeah, that's something to do with the flooring, I guess. Okay. Doesn't like it. Mm hmm. Yeah, I like this flamingo enclosure. Okay, so there's some backstage part that we need to check out. Plus five points. And the yeah. Been to massage. All right. A nice little white board. <laughs> And okay. the lion uh, backstage. That's a cool backstage. Staircase over here. Let's try to get. Oh, it's really small for them. Boom. Oh, this is the indoor viewing area. Nice. I like all the viewing parts. Really like the layout of the zoo. Let's uh, have a little uh, top view. Nicely done. Love the buildings. I think this was also a little uh, time uh, related uh, thing, right? In the description. Yeah, yeah. Work uh, slash time. Thing. Yeah. You can see that this part isn't uh, this uh, Probably was supposed to be something in there. Mm -hmm. and, uh, could have used a bit more decoration, but I can see why you uh, were telling us that your building style, it's a lot of details, a lot of custom things. It's, uh, it's really, really nice. Such a mm -hmm. great layout over here with all the viewing areas and the gardening and beautiful looking place. Great enclosures. I haven't really, uh, oh, it's the par thing that is going all around it. The lion enclosure. You can only see it when you're really close to it. When you have like this top view, you can't really uh, see the difference. Nice. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice. Nicely done. Let's have a little nighttime view. Because I'm uh, getting overheated over here. It's like 1500 uh, degrees inside this room. Oh, there's only one big spotlight from the Jeep. 
right over here. Yeah, that would be scary. There's a new movie, right? About this lion that's eating everyone. Oh. Is there? Yeah, it's called the Beast or something. I don't know. Something new. But, uh... I've got the name. Brian Ennis. Thank you so much for uh, for the submission. Although, again, it's not finished. It's, uh, it's a beautiful looking place. And it's, um... Yeah, still amazing what you did in this uh, this limited amount of time. So, uh, great work, and uh, thank you for participating, of course. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be hard, yeah. right, to voting. Yeah, that was the last submission, so we have seen everything already, and I must say that it will be a really, really hard vote. Yeah, this. Uh, some really, really amazing uh, submissions uh, and completely different. We have flying uh, islands and we have super realistic zoos. So it's going to be hard to, uh, yeah, to, to make a choice of what you uh, think deserves the win. Yep, yep. Um, it was the last one, Todoy. So, um, yeah, you are, were a bit late. We started at 7. So, uh, yeah, sorry about that. But you can all uh, re-watch the streams, both of them and yep. um, yeah thank you all for for being here and of course the voting will be up on the discord it will be either today or tomorrow and you will have a week uh, to uh yeah, to put your votes in and then next week we will do uh, the big reveal uh yeah the winner of the mini zoo competition 2.0 and who knows in the future we might have a 3.0 but um yeah, we will we will see uh, we will give you some rest again uh, yeah, yep, yep. because I think this was quite an intensive uh, or uh, yeah uh, uh, a competition for everyone yeah, 10 weeks of reward. building and we, it's a big project that you had to build on so uh, yeah it was nice I enjoyed it participating and I think it's really cool that Lido also participated as he promised yeah, so uh, that was, uh, was really cool to have to see his uh, build and, uh, if you if you ever want to see uh, the plans behind my build, like I have everything sketched out, so I can make a special meeting where I uh, do my submission, but in words, not in Final Zoo. Yeah, horrible. Yeah, horrible. I've never seen these uh, these filters. Can I also see? Every day you learn something new, right? Exactly. Beautiful. All right. Uh, thanks, everyone, for being here. Uh, keep an eye on the Discord for the voting. And we will yep. see you guys next time. You, you. you. you.